Well, welcome back to WorkTech, everyone. I'm George LaRock, and we've got some big industry news here today. Uh, work tech news, recruiting tech news, uh, a new major acquisition was announced. And I'm joined by Madeline Lorano. Madeline, welcome. Hi, George. Thanks for having me on. Madeline, you and your firm, Aptitude Research, you're the, uh, the experts in talent acquisition. Um, and why don't you tell everyone about this deal? It seems appropriate. Well, it's very exciting news. So Paradox, the leading conversational AI provider, acquired Tradeify, a, uh, you know, a very fast, innovative, mobile-first assessment provider. So a big day, a big day in the market. And I think for me, so many acquisitions don't really make sense and leave us, George, with a lot of questions. I think sometimes we've done these interviews and we have to, to we're, we're very curious about why, you know, these acquisitions happen. To me, this makes complete sense. I think it's, it's a great opportunity. And I think the potential for Paradox is, is huge. The potential was big before, but I think just the opportunity and, and having now Tradeify as part of that is, is very exciting. I agree. It's a, it's a super exciting deal. And we're joined by the CEOs of both firms, uh, Aaron Matos from Paradox and Dan Sines from Tradeify. Welcome. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Why don't uh, you know, it, it's possible that someone's watching this that doesn't know uh, everything about Paradox or Tradeify. So why don't we start with um, learn, you know, just a quick snippet about uh, each of your companies and yourselves, and then we'll, let's dig into this this deal. Aaron, if you might, wouldn't mind going first. Sure. Thanks for having us. Uh, I'm Aaron Matus. I'm the founder and CEO of, of Paradox, and we build conversational software and recruiting that um, is focused on simplifying and automating. Uh, the experience for both candidates and recruiters and for hiring managers. And um, we started this journey back back in 2016, 17 timeframe and have been on a, a pretty high growth trajectory since then and have some amazing clients around the world um, trying to build the next generation of, of modern conversational first consumer like um, enterprise software. And so uh, super excited to be here. Thanks, George. Cool. And hi everyone, my name is Dan Sines. Um, Tradeify and its background, uh, Tradeify was created really as an image-based assessment designed to uh, create a much more enjoyable candidate experience that was fun and engaging for the end user. The test takes about 90 seconds to complete, so it's much faster, much more fun, much more engaging than what you'll typically see in the market. And what we did was we take something that was very complicated and make it very simple. Um, and simple to that end user and that end experience. And so we found our kind of groove in the high volume space and we've been growing in that direction uh, since. Cool. So, all right. So now we've set the table and let, let's learn more about the deal. Madeline, why don't you kick us off? Sure. I'm curious how the deal came about. I mean, what what's happening in the market now and especially this year that, you know, Aaron, from your perspective, led you to kind of think this is the right time to, to make this acquisition? Sure. I think, I think this is an interesting one because this happened really organically. Um, this wasn't, you know, channel and partnership teams discussing it. This was clients telling us we needed to work together. Um, and, and Dan and I actually met each other because we were being pushed by our clients to work together. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, once we saw, and we integrate with all types of assessments, but once we saw what Tradeify was accomplishing in the market, you know, they, they had, um, an assessment that was super fast and incredibly high completion rates, incredibly high accuracy. And it was really unlike anything we had seen. And so, you know, our, our goal, when we talk about it internally is how, how do we build automation with a human touch? And, you know, we want to free recruiters and hiring managers up to spend time with people and not software. And when we looked at how Tradeify could help in that, how the assessment could provide valid results to be able to, to kind of narrow the field. Um, it was, Kind of a no-brainer for us and we started talking about what the future looks like and you know this was a a big question to us of you can partner with great organizations or you can figure out how to have them join you and for us um we're excited to be able to have it as part of the paradox ecosystem yeah and so is it do you see this um the tradeify uh product be becoming you know a core part of the platform or what will the impact on the the, the customer and user experience be yeah, I think, you know, when we look at it, I mean, assessments are interesting because there's people that love assessments. There's other people who don't love assessments. And I view this as, you know, we're not out 
trying to change the world on getting everyone to use an assessment. So we, we view it as if you need an assessment and you need to be able to, to shrink the funnel. We think we've got the best product to do that. Um, the impact on customers should just be all about speed and efficiency. Um, but you know, we, we view this as well as the product will continue to stay the same. You don't have to use our Olivia automation for um, to use Tradeify and you don't have to use Tradeify to, to use our other products. So we, we think having solutions that are really flexible to our clients is, is key because there's, there's just so much differentiation in the market. So Aaron, it's really interesting because a lot of conversational AI providers this year have been acquired. And to me, it, it's, it's just a time when this is what every company wants. Like we're seeing growth in high volume, but we're seeing a lot of growth on the professional side as well. Every company sees this as a competitive differentiator. And you've taken a very different approach where you're not looking for this exit, which is, I'm sure you've had offers. You don't have to answer that. But you're, you're, you know, you're making an acquisition and looking at a different vision. I mean, is, is there anything you can share about that vision that's very different than you know, a lot of your competitors' vision? Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I think you know, when we look at the market, there was a whole group of us that started in similar times and, and were trying to apply technology to the space in a different way. Our, I think our view was a little bit bigger. We, we viewed conversational software as kind of being a change uh, throughout enterprise software in the way that work gets done. We, we don't believe that in the future, people are gonna log into portals in the same way. And so we've always viewed this as bigger than a quote, quote, chat bot. Um, and you know, I like to say we're industry insider outsiders where Adam and I have both been in the industry for a really long time and we know our clients and we love our clients and we love the problems, but we didn't build yesterday's work tech. And so we, we know the problems, but we also are tied to the yesterday's solutions. And, um, you know, I, I think there's been a, a kind of grab to check off boxes by some of the larger players of, hey, we need a chat bot. And, um, you know, it's just never been our view. We acquired um, Spets earlier this year, a, a, a conversational AI out of, out of Israel because we love the team and we thought it was one of the best teams around the globe and um, gave us some 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 people in, in an incredibly amazing part of the world. Um, and Tradeify fits in because you know this is about growth and building for us, and we we have a big vision. We think we can you know change the way that enterprise software and recruiting software has been built and, and Tradeify brings us an amazing team um, and amazing software so we're excited about that cool and i think that's part of what attracted us uh, to paradox as well i mean they're clearly pushing the boundaries of what the experience needs to be for the product and i think it's important to look at it that way like software needs to step out and it needs to be a clean experience for that end user both the candidate and the hiring manager or the recruiter um, and it really just matches our, our ethos and our feeling as well about what we've tried to do with assessments. We want to get it out of the way. Uh, we want to make it simple and easy. And I think it just became a really natural fit as we started to work together in the market. I think the organic factor of this was probably one of the coolest parts. It wasn't just the clients, but also our own teams. Um, they were working kind of bottom up uh, on product and sales, and it just became really natural in the market for us to end up here. So, you know, digging in on that a little bit, Dan, you know, there's a, um, and, and I get, well, let's start with you because there's a, there's a view to the future for um, your product and there's a view to the future for the Paradox product. And um, I know, you know, we'll talk about what you, what you can or will talk about today, but how, and this deal is new, so that, that's, that's granted. But, uh, but how do you see the path that you're on, you know, based on what you've experienced with uh, Paradox customers, um, how do you see, you know, things evolving for uh, your assessment or assessments in general in this conversational landscape that, that's emerging in front of us now? Well, there's just immense potential through the, the kind of the art of conversation there to learn more and create a more enjoyable experience. Um, you know, we've always had this challenge where we built this really simplified, easy approach to take an assessment, and then it would get crammed into a very complicated platform. Um, and it kind of diluted a little bit that value to that end candidate. And as soon as we started working uh, with Paradox, um, we immediately saw a complete change in that from the client perspective. It was end to end, a clean, easy experience to go through, but also deeply scientific, deeply validated, and 
showing real results. And if you can do all those things together, it's sort of the perfect storm. Yeah, yeah. So Aaron, what when you when you look forward, is there anything that you would add to that from a, a roadmap or future perspective for uh, for Paradox now? You know, I think when when you talk roadmap, I think one of the best things to do is look where the road's been and where you're kind of leading today. And the thing that Tradeify did better than anybody else in our perspective is they put candidates first. And it's been our obsession is building software that builds an amazing candidate experience first. And what's interesting is when you apply tra Tradeify to, a, I'll call it a legacy ATS, the fact that you've sped up the assessment process doesn't change the, the game because the bottleneck is in a bad process. And what we've been able to do with Tradeify is put a, a faster, better process on and Tradeify ends up cleaning up bottlenecks of speed. And so you know, we're, we're looking at to the future with that lens of one, how do you build simple, easy to use, candidate first, consumer-like software um, for the enterprise? Um, and then where do we use this type of technology? Um, both, you know, we mentioned early in the hourly segment, I think we can use it in the professional segment. There's lots of places this could continue to grow. So let's talk about that for a minute, because I think there is this perception around both conversational AI and then Tradeify, what you're, you know, specifically what you're doing is that it's just for high volume, right? It's conversational AI can really transform high volume because it's a completely different experience. We need to move candidates along really, really quickly through the process. And then Tradeify in 90 seconds, you know, most people wouldn't think of that for professional hiring. Um, Paradox has done such a great job, I think, of of serving both high volume and you're also seeing a lot of growth now in professional hiring with companies that are, are really thinking about how do we transform professional hiring as well. But yet the assessment market still tends to be this 45 minute to an hour long assessment that maybe isn't even done through technology. Maybe it's through a very traditional provider. You know, what is, what is that gonna look like, Dan, to be able to take this shift in how we think about the assessment market and apply it to, to professional hiring? Yeah, I mean, I think here's the thing, just because uh, you're higher up the corporate ladder or paid more money doesn't mean you don't also want a good experience. Um, and I think uh, we've been really focused because we're a small team at Tradeify on, on high volume because it's been our fit. But from a product perspective and from a science perspective, it works in corporate. And I think there's a lot of potential here to now take that experience and make it just as enjoyable for those white collar roles in the corporate environment. You know, we, we laugh when we see companies that, uh, I, I guess, think that because someone's being paid $100,000 a year, they're willing to jump through more hoops. I, I, I don't understand that. I don't believe it. Um, we're, we're obsessed with, with respect and transparency and speed. And, you know, one of, one of my dreams is to have disposition and point of interest for candidates. Like, I, well, the moment a candidate raises their hand, they need to know what's next. And, and the, the better you can build the process, the closer you can get to that dream. And I, I don't care if you're a software engineer or a marketing lead or um, you know, a sales professional or an IO psych, you don't want to spend an hour raising your hand. And, and I think we can, we can do a lot to change that. Yeah. I think the recruiter experience too. I mean, I think when you look at high volume, there's not a lot of recruiters. It's not a recruiter led experience. It's a lot of managers or um, you know, restaurant workers that are dealing with this. But when you think about what recruiters are going through today and the burden and the fatigue that that we hear so so much in the market to be able to provide a better experience. So they're not kind of going through an hour long assessment data and trying to figure out what to find that can help inform the hiring decision or ignore it altogether. You know, that that experience is just as important today as, as the candidate experience. Absolutely. People don't understand in most hourly recruiting, it's a recruiter-less environment. So recruiter-less is there's a hiring manager and they've got a job to do and they actually have to staff their, their restaurant or their store or their department. And so, you know, on both sides of the equation, whether we're helping a manager or we're helping a recruiter, we think there's just a lot of opportunity to, to do that, that magic four-letter word of help. Um, and if we, can, if we can help them get their job done and do the work for them, we think there's a big win. And just continue to put the human at the center of everything that you do. I'm, I'm not sure why often they stop at the candidate for that. Um, it should be the hiring manager too and the recruiter. They're, they're humans too, and they want an enjoyable side to that part of the experience. So let's, um, I know, you know, time is, uh, we've only got so much time with you today. So let's, 
let's talk about some of the impact of, of this deal. Um, how about, uh, you know, other humans that will care, your customers uh, or entities that will care? Um, what, what's, the, what's the impact going to be? You touched on it a little bit earlier, but what's, will there be any impact for your customers now that this deal is done? You know, we're looking at this from a perspective of, um, you know, Trade, Tradeify already integrates with lots of other ATSs as, as do we. We think that this is all about seamlessness um, for them. I mean, we, we look at this from a perspective first and foremost of can this be better for our clients um, and can it be better for the candidates? And so, so for that, it's, I, I think we're already pretty seamlessly integrated. We think there's more opportunity there um, by you know, have, having the engineers and product people on the same team. We think we can make, make a better experience and that's going to be what we're, we're obsessed in doing is, is making it so that if someone wants to use decision analysis, use an assessment in the process, um, it's easy to do. So I, have, I just have one final question and I'll say, I think it's so interesting because George, I don't know about you, but I don't think I've ever heard an acquisition happening because it's really customer driven, right? Like this is to customers kind of saying, we want this to happen and, and, and making sure that this is something that they had, you know, available to them. Aaron, from your perspective, this is now the second acquisition, I believe, for Paradox. What are the attributes you look for when you're acquiring a company and you're looking even at a partner? to be able to continue that, that vision for paradox? It's a, it's a great question. I mean, I know people are looking at us and have been looking at us and lumping us into this chatbot category. Um, and we don't think of ourselves as that. And we think we're gonna build, you know, a significant software platform. And so we, one, have always had really big dreams. Two, because of that, we know we're a growth company. And, you know, I per personally, I'm a builder. And when I look at ways to build, I mean, there's so much you can do organically and we need to do a great job of that, but finding people and groups like Spets that gave us a geographic expansion, like Tradeify that gives us a product knowledge and expertise, um, as well as a team, like that's, that's what helps organizations grow. And, you know, any growth company that's doing any kind of inorganic acquisitions or growth strategy has to, to look at how one plus one equals something more than two. And, and when we looked at Tradeify, it fit all those things straight up. And we're continuing to look at uh, ways that we can you know, grow our product line. We've got a, a pretty aggressive roadmap. We think there's people out there who are doing things that do it better than us. And we're okay admitting that and saying, hey, it's good. We can do it better together. And so um, that, that part is an important part of our story and, and one that we hope plays out over the next few years. Yeah. That's great. I, I guess, Dan, I'd be curious to get your quick thoughts on that before we wrap up. Uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of um, a lot of customers that I know are interested in this and also other vendors out there in this in this market. How, how did what was it for you that said, OK, this makes sense? You know, I mean, at the core, we're a personality company and, uh, you know, personality is really important to us. And there was just a natural personality fit here uh, with the whole teams, with the product, with the culture and with our customer base. Um, you know, there was just that kind of perfect match feeling. And um, that's really important when you're a founder uh, looking at where you're gonna take your baby uh, and where you're gonna go and grow and continue. And um, we couldn't be more excited. Uh, it's, I think, just a really perfect fit for the market, a perfect fit for us and a, and a great opportunity together to go and uh, grow. Well, I think it's clear we uh, both Madeline and I are fans of this deal. And, uh, you know, it makes a lot of sense uh, for your customers, for the market. Madeline, um, thank you so much for being here again and doing this with me. Any, uh, any closing thoughts before we, we sign off? No, I mean, Aaron and Dan, thank you both so much. This is, I think, very exciting. And I know it's probably going to be a very busy week for you. So definitely appreciate the time. But I think I'm really excited when I think about the potential, you know, I think Paradox has so much potential in this market to be able to, to think about other areas of talent acquisition, to be able to really transform professional hiring as you're doing today. So I'm excited to see where that potential takes you in, in the next year and beyond. So. Yep. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. And, and if anyone's interested in learning more about that potential for themselves, what's the best place to go to learn more about how the products will work together and what that means? I just come to our website at paradox.ai. Um, we're super available. We're both available on LinkedIn. Text me anything you want. All right. 
two available CEOs on uh, on LinkedIn. You're, I have a feeling your your uh, in mail is going to heat up now. I, I hear the phone ringing <laughs> already. All right. Thanks again. Thanks everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Bye.